Well, Africa, uh, has it been on your mind? As I can say that it has been on my mind for some time. Uh, probably about a year and a half, if not more, uh, Kristen and I have been really praying and, and seeking the Lord in regards to Africa. And as, as we've been here in Boston, we've uh, taken a look back and we've looked at our journey and I can remember some struggles and I can remember meeting with the Lord. And so as I was remembering our, our journey thus far, I, I got to thinking, this is, this is kind of like Israel. You know, they had a journey and they struggled and they met with God and they found themselves standing outside the promised land. And so I think to myself, in two days, in two days we will depart and we will go to Uganda. And it's kind of like our promised land. We have, in this last year and a half, we have verged on this point. And this seems to be the day. Now, when I say we're, we're entering this promised land, it's, it's the same as, as Israel. There's much, much work to be done. But uh, still, in two days... And so I sought the Lord and I, I said, what, what would you give me? What, what message, word of wisdom would you give me as I'm, as I'm days away from going into this promised land? And, and what word would I bring to, to the congregation today? And so I came and I said, well, we're going to do a reading today. And we're going to do a reading from um, Joshua, from chapter 1. And I'm going to read the first nine verses of Joshua. And then I'm going to tell you how this is relevant. Obviously, you'll be able to see it very clearly from my perspective. But I want you to also see how it's clear from your perspective here in Boston. And being that I took my papers out, I lost my page. So here we go. It says, After the death of Moses, the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, the assistant of Moses, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore, arise you and all this people and cross over the Jordan into the land I will give them. Every piece on which you tread with your feet, I will give it to you, as I said to Moses. Your territory shall be the desert and the Lebanon as far as the great river, the Euphrates River, and from the setting of the sun to the farthest sea. No man shall be able to oppose you all the days of your life. And as I was with Moses, thus I will also be with you. I will not forsake you or disregard you. Be strong and courageous, for you will divide the land which I swore to your fathers to give them. Be strong, therefore, and do as Moses, my servant, commanded you, that you will not turn away from them to the right nor to the left, in this way you will have understanding in whatever you do. The book of this law shall not depart from your mouth, and you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may have the understanding to do all things written therein. Then you will be both prosper, make your ways prosperous, and have understanding. Behold, I have commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be cowardly or fearful, for the Lord your God is with you in all things, wherever you go. And so this message is not, uh, these words of wisdom are not just for us as we're departing for, for Uganda, but it's for every single one of us here today, whether it's down at the immigration center, um, that Marlon is kind of working with and others as well or you find yourself down at the mosque packing food and uh, ministering and fishing as you're down there and establishing relationships whether you're at work and with your co-workers or you're, you're working with clients that you serve on a daily basis through your work or maybe you find yourself in an institution or at, as a student 
and maybe it's your colleagues that you find relationships and things there and, and engage them. Maybe you're a mother. You're at home. You're training your children and teaching them. Or maybe you're the children that find yourself trying to give your hearts over to your parents and to obey them and follow the way the Lord has set before you. Or, as we are collectively all here in Boston, many of us have... Uh, are here, but some of us are from further away. But as we minister to the people around us and we labor for the kingdom, the message is still the same. To be strong and to be courageous. And when we look at Uganda uh, corporately as a church, I see this passage pertaining to us as well. Because as we go, we, we are going as an extension of this body, as one. And I can remember we, we talked about uh, numbers. We had sermons on numbers, and one of the things that I picked up in numbers pertaining to Uganda and I shared with some was when Israel was standing before the land and God said, go up and take it. And I said, that's how I feel about Uganda. God has presented Uganda to us, and we need to go up and we need to take it. So, as we gather as saints here today, I want you to join me in that vision. I want you to see things the way I see things. I see our body standing on the Jordan River. And I see us in our armor. And I see us in battle array. And I see that God is telling us, as piece by piece has fallen into place for Uganda, I say we go up and we take it. And I say that God will still be the same God that tells us to listen to the treetops as He marches and goes before us and makes our way straight. So the message and encouragement today that I bring from the Lord is to be strong and to be courageous.